Good morning and welcome to another little bit of a review of a obstacle course race. I'm here at Normanby Hall. I think that's what the place is. Normanby Hall, just above Scunthorpe. Um, got an uh, adventure race with Curly's Athletes website. I think they also do like I did a half marathon with them in Yorkshire. Um, this is one of their adventure races I saw. And I can't remember how much, but I'm assuming it was cheap. <laughs> um, currently, I've got all my bib on the registration. I'm all geared up. Just wait until around quarter past nine, because it's literally a five minute walk to the hall for my car. So I thought I'm not waiting outside in the cold. Uh, the sun's out now, so I'm hoping it does get a lot warmer. Um, especially with the cold. It says the water's only up to waist height, but this is the first event of my year. So it's going to be cold and I'm just going to freeze. Yeah, but we should be fine. Um, other than that, since it is kind of a cheap event, I'm going to be doing like a hay bale count here um, because cheap events tend to love shoving hay bales as an obstacle. Then we go into one and there was like 10 hay bales, one after another, one after another, and it was just like, I'm done with hay bales. <laughs> so hopefully there won't be too much. Um, like I said, the water's only up to waist height, so I don't know what kind of obstacles they've got regarding like any big slides because they tend to be like the fun ones because we've got a kids event as well at the same place, so it's kind of like... What are they going to be? There's probably going to be monkey bars. 10k though, um, which is good. Like I said, I can't have paid more than 30 quid maybe. Um, but they did say there's a little memento at the end. I think it's a medal. There was race t-shirts, but I didn't buy one. It's like another 20 quid and I don't need any more race t-shirts. So yeah, I'm just going to chill out here and then I'll head over to the start line for the warm up and then we'll head on with the race. That's where I'll switch to the GoPro, which is this little beast here. It also has a mouth mount, so hopefully when it does get to the um, obstacles such as like monkey bars. I can just put it here and you guys can still see. The only problem is I really don't want to keep eating this depending on how much mud and what actually is in this hall. The only problem I've seen so far is it's not well um, signposted. Um, I've seen a lot of families turning up with bikes so they're in for a shock that we're going to be taking up half the park. I'm assuming it's a big hall to go around. Uh, I don't think it's National Trust. And there's a caravan and camping site, so I just think we're going to be disturbing a few of them on a Sunday. So hopefully it'll be alright. If not, I shall see you on the course. Bye! Three! Two! Oh, that was good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Enjoy, folks! Have an amazing time! Be happy! Hey, Bell City! <laughs> Easily rippable since it's come up. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have to try. Really?
Voda? Two and a half miles in ish, I think it's just under. So, same again, same obstacles. We beat it around, probably that trench again. And then back to the hole. So, overall, not bad. Let's keep going. They called more hay by the house. <laughs> Converting into a water slide. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Caught around me foot. <laughs> Oh, I got to say, I'm catching up the first wave, so it could be a bit harder to get through the time slots. No, Especially in the lake, where everyone's like a bit cold. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oh, yeah, all fair and good. I jumped in, got a bit wet. Not because I wanted to get wet in my face. Look at me, been attacked, been violated. <laughs> Hey, babe. <laughs> I think it's almost as a run back to the finish, huh? See you there. Well, you could drunk me. <laughs> no way, shit. Well, squeeze it out, shit. You've got me. Cake, we've got a water bottle, a chocolate cake. We do have a medal, which I'll show you a better shot when I get back in the car. It's a thank the guy that pays me at the end. 
He's like a new maybe sprint in the end, but he gave me the win. So I had to congratulate him. Just be some good sportsmanship. But yeah, I'll give you a full review after I've got changed and I'm ready to drive off. I'm gonna lie, from a distance, I thought this was real. <laughs> oh, this stable of Joey. He was one of the deer in the park. And he said I'm letting him die peacefully this often. Oh! <laughs> Welcome back. This is the post race review because I've got cleaned, I've got tidy, and we're here. And if you want, this is the medal. Wait, let me hold it this way and see if it'll focus. Stop focusing on my face. My face is not needed. It's not gonna focus. Focus. Let's hold it here. There we go. Wait. There we go. Normandy Hall Adventure Race 2020. It's a quite a good medal. It's quite hefty actually. Bigger the size of my palm. It's quite good. It's quite a nice medal to get. Um, we got cake. A little bit of cake afterwards. Hat on. And then we got a bottle of water, which I had to put in my car engine because I ran out of water. So on the way here, I cannot see anything. So I've had to clean it up, but I still have more water available. Um, and then the first thing before I start eating, I, I need to disinfect everything on me. Since that woman decided to splash me in the face for no reason, other than just jumping in water, um, my face I don't really trust. And another little trick we tend to do is a bottle of full fat coat, either a can or a bottle, just drink some. It kills bacteria in your toilet. I don't know if you've seen those cleaning episodes on whatever them two women did. Um, but it's got to clean something out of my system just in case I've swallowed out. There was no swimming. It was up to probably just above my knee. Um, so there wasn't that much. It was just vaulting over everything. Um, no upper body stuff. So I didn't really get to use my mouth grip that much. Um, so hopefully at another event I'll be able to. Um, overall, not, not too bad. Well organized event. They did have things up. Like I said, when we got it, it weren't very signposts. So the normal uh, parking area is full, but I don't think they realize everything's on. There is a Go Ape here, which I think um, they've not had open today. So that's pretty good. They've closed it because of this race. There were, I don't know how many people it was, but there was a lot when um, we were first setting off. I look back and it was like, Jesus, there's quite a few of them actually here. Because it is just a gentle uh, 10k race. I think it was 10k overall. I think it was, and I think I did it in about an hour 10 maybe. Um, I just dropped my phone, that's sinking. Wherever that's going. Uh, there it is. Um, but I've not used my sun toe in over a year, which apparently it's sinking 3 out of 33 activities, which I, I, I don't remember doing 33 activities in the, this one day. So hopefully it'll all go on. And then you'll all go on Strava and I can send a nice snick pit here. <laughs> it's just a reminder to myself to post it and actually sort it. Um, like I said, the amount of hay bales, there weren't many. There was for like stepping up onto things, which is fine. It's a good cushion, it's cheap for them. Um, and then jumping off stuff, obviously it's a thing. There was one big hay bale stand and then there was like, two hay bales we had to actually vault over. So it's good that they didn't utilize hay bales a lot, which is so annoying at some races. Um, but we were kind of going around an equestrian, like horse equestrian kind of thing. So it was just vaulting over little fences, little jumps. Um, so that were really it, really. Like I said, there's a couple of pits we went in that were full of water. Freezing cold at first, but once you've gone through a few, it weren't too bad. And then you just do another lap of that bit before you start running back to the hall. Um, like I said, with the lap system though, it's annoying. Um, they use it because obviously it utilizes your space and it doubles up your distance in a way. But uh, for anyone that's overtaking, you catch up to people and then it just takes you longer and longer to get around the course. And since it's a race that doesn't require any help of anyone, like no obstacle required me to help anyone and um, to ask for anyone for help, there was nothing bigger than maybe just above waist height on me. And I'm 5'7", so nothing too big. Um, but it is a good starter for some people um, to, to get it into obstacle racing or just any kind of mud run. It's a good little start up race. So overall, um, I don't know what the rate, how many counts we got for hay bales. I'll probably just count the obstacles, so maybe it was like three or four, so not too bad. But they did just use the stuff that was already there. There wasn't anything man-made really, other than they put a few cargo nets over some hay bales, which kind of ripped off instantly. Like I was near the front of the race at the start and half of them were ripped off because as soon as one person gets caught on them, it just pulls it off. They were on with like little tacks. So 
Overall, good race. I am going to disinfect everything on me, my hands especially, before I start eating, and then I'm going to head home. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I can't remember what my next race is. Uh, if it's any other obstacle race, I'll record. If it's any other like normal 5k, maybe I'll record, but it won't be as interesting for you guys to watch. It'll just be me running. Because I think I've got one at the Yorkshire Wildlife Park, which is just a 5k. Um, so it's just a race. There's nothing more interesting for you to watch other than in case you wanted to do it in the future, that'll be it. You know what it'll be like. That's why I'm kind of doing these, just so more people can see in top school racing that it's not as scary as you think. Uh, some people think it's freezing cold and that. Like, don't get me wrong, there is some elements that are cold, but it's nothing too bad. Like, something you can get over. There's a lot of people, it's for all ages, um, it's not for the elites or anything. Um, if you want to do elite stuff, that's where you, you probably already know your stuff around obstacle racing. But these ones, they're good little start-ups, and you get a nice momento, and I can't really fault the medal, it's big enough and pretty good. I shall see you all in the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like rating and subscribe, and then leave any comments if there's anything you want me to upgrade, or just to do better on next time. See you later. Bye.